are some qualities you're looking for in a child actor? Money. They have to have money. <laughs> the parents have to have money. No, it's really funny because I was thinking about this the other day. Um, it's really expensive to be an actor. That's not the qualities I'm looking at. It was just yeah. a joke. I could go off on it anyway because I'm the guest. I could talk. Uh, when you come out here or if you already live here, people don't people don't know how expensive it is because you have to get the headshots. You have to have your, your, your curls put in. You have to um, coach for jobs. Every time you get an audition, it's like, uh-oh, it's going to cost me money. It's going to cost me money to have an audition because you got to go coach, right? Um, the headshots, the replications of the headshots, acting classes. You have to join SAG. You're SAG eligible. Do you know what that means? I can join SAG. You can join. Do you know how much it is? No. <laughs> Mom, look it up. <laughs> we'll learn about this later. Yeah. It's, In next episode. You no, know, it's right now, honey. It's 2200 bucks. Oh, snap. Yeah, big snap. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. See, I'm cool. My ring. Let's do a snap. <laughs> All right. So that's that. $2,200 just to join SAG. And there's another union. You know what the other union is? AFTRA. Very good. Are you eligible for that? I am AFTRA. That's, oh, so you already paid the dues. Yeah. And how much was it? I don't know. Of course, you're the kid. <laughs> it's called Child's Play. It's not called Mother's Play. It's called Mother's Play. Like mother, oh, oh, my God, so much money. But you have to save up for that. Mm -hmm. So what was the question? What qualities do you look for in a child actor? Money. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the answer. You got to have it. No. The, you have to have that. That's what the parents have to have, to just so that you don't get, oh, my God, I can't afford to go to classes, and you're not competitive with the other kids. I look for kids that have good skills, like we talked about, that have, that, that have other interests, that are determined, they study, they take classes, um, and they want to do it. It's yeah. not the parents pushing them. They're not doing it for the money. They're doing it for the art and for the love. Because, yeah. you know, I worked for free for so long. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know? And it's really, you have to really love it, you know, to pursue it. So I always look to see if the kid really wants to do it. You yeah. know, as a manager, I'm looking to see if the mom's pushing because they want to pay rent or if it's the child that really wants to do it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and do it. What other question do you have? <laughs> what made you switch from acting to coaching and managing? Very good question. Do you really care? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> I do care you about care you, you Wendy. <laughs> now we're into a whole different <laughs> segment of child psychology. So uh, <laughs> um, what made me switch? It's an interesting question. Um, I was doing warm-ups for sitcoms. You know what that is? Explain. Do you ever go to a taping of a TV show? Yeah. Is there ever a guy or a girl in the audience keeping everybody happy for hours? Yeah. Entertaining? That was me. <laughs> I did that for 15 years, back in the other days. Um, I loved doing it. I had the best time of my life. I was doing acting jobs, voiceover jobs, but I was mostly into the comedy and the warm-ups. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get up and down the stairs at no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where are you from? Who cared? I can't get up there. Um, it got... It was very lucrative, but a lot of reality shows started taking over, as you may have noticed. Yeah. Not as many sitcom tapings. So it wasn't as lucrative for me anymore, which means what? Lucrative. Uh, We're back to the old thing. Money. There's no money in it anymore. It was very difficult. So um, my daughter was involved with doing the little plays at school, and I got involved with that and doing reader's theater with her classes, and I started putting plays on at her schools, and then pretty soon it turned into, like, benefits and doing school benefits and earning money, I became like a director and getting involved with kids. And all of a sudden, all her friends wanted me to, like, teach them and do shows. And then I started giving free advice, and I started managing them. <laughs> so it kind of it all evolved. You know, it wasn't like I pursued it. It kind of just happened, and it was something that I loved doing because I enjoyed working with my daughter. It didn't wanted... just, like, pop into your head at one point, oh, I'm going to become a manager. No, are you kidding? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work, you know, and we work on commission. You don't get paid, you know, unless the kid works. But um, the, the thing is, it was something that just evolved naturally, like the warm-ups for me. It evolved naturally. I was doing stand-in work for Tootie on the Facts of Life. Mm -hmm. You watch the Facts of Life on TV Land? No. But you know who, you know the TV show, The Facts of Life? No. Different strokes, ain't those? Okay. <laughs> Facelift time. Uh, just gave my age away. It's, they're old shows, and I used to do the warm-ups for them. Mm -hmm. And the people on the set thought I was funny. So pretty soon, you know, one of the fathers said to me, Hey, you're funny. You want to do the warm-ups for the show? And I said, now, What is that? Mm -hmm. And I wa waited one you know, night during the taping. I saw these guys doing it, and there were no women doing it, by the way. Mm -hmm. All guys. Guys with ties, you know, with the microphones. Never women. I was the first female warm-up that broke into the business just because I happened to be on the set doing stand-in work. 
What was the question? No. <laughs> what made me switch from acting into that? That's yeah. why.